Hello, my dear friends. I am Nitin. I am Emirate Engineering Set for Infotech Private Limited, which is working in the Emirate development since last year. Today, I am going to introduce you with the Emirate system, with all its technical aspects, its future aspects, and from the job of, job point of view. So, firstly, I want to tell you about what is Emirate system. If I talk about the embedded system, I can simply say that it is a combination of hardware and software which is designed to perform a specific task or set of tasks. You can see of various examples written like washing machine, robots, electronic cash counter and a lot more. You can see them in the daily life. In your daily life, you can see all of these equipment. Now you understand what is embedded system and what are its application areas. If I told about the application areas, it is limitless. Embedded system is used currently in all of the fields like consumer applications, electrical, in communication field, in instrumentation, surveillance, military applications, industrial automation, and a lot more. Now you think about that, is it really used or not? Firstly, I want to tell you that embedded system relates to the intelligence to creating intelligence in any of the machines. By using the embedded system, we can add intelligence to any machine. As you know that we use, we need that every machine is intelligent, that he can decide by himself that what to do. Let's take a look. In your daily life, you are using a lot of embedded devices. Let's take a look. It's consumer application. This is a washing machine. Washing machine is basically a mechanical device, but what is its embedded aspect? How would it become an embedded device? If I talk about embedded, uh, if I talk about a washing machine, then it has intelligence. In nowadays washing machines, they are intelligent that they can decide that how to wash the clothes. If it is a hard clothes, then they wash it roughly, and if it is soft clothes, then they wash it smoothly. Beside this. You can see a uh, AC air conditioner, which is also a mechanical device. But we added intelligence to this air condition. Now today's air condition can think when to on, when to off, how to work, and they are more efficient than the yesterday. It is an electronic display. Nowadays you can see it in the mall everywhere. It is a most better way to display the information. In these displays, you can change the information very easily. Besides this, cell phone, the part of the life which you can't forget. Every time, every day, you have using cell phone. Cell phones have changed our life significantly. So these are also the embedded devices. These are the escalators, inverters. So there are a lot more applications like DVD player, set top box and a lot more. If I come to the automobiles, each day we are using a lot of automobiles like cars, trucks, buses and a lot more. We added intelligence to these automobiles so that they can work intelligently. Let's see a look how we can add intelligence to an automobile. This is a scenario of a car when you are sitting inside a car. You can see a lot of sensors. If I go inside the car, about the electronics in the car, then you can see this. Various systems we are using in the car. You are thinking that these are the few systems we are using in the car, but this is not the final one. If you are go further inside, then you can see this. You can see each and every part of the car is equipped with a lot of embedded devices. And if you go further deep, you can see this. And this is further increasing and increasing. So now you understand that we are using a lot of embedded products in our car. Now, if I go to the military application, if I talk about the military, then it uses the most advanced technology because defense is the most important part of any country. So we have a lot of embedded applications like the autopilot like the radar system you can see this is a b12 it's still bomber 
This is a stealth bomber which can't be detected. It is a computer control which controls it heat emission. It makes it more efficient and better. This is so stealth that you can't detect it when it flies over your neck. This is the electronic gun, the future gun which is more fast, better and more dangerous to the enemy. I hope so. You know what it is. It is a drone plane. You heard about it in Afghanistan. This is a wireless pilotless plane which you can control without sitting in it. You can see this. It is a remote control which, which can be which can send signals through RF or through satellite, which can control this drone plane. You can hit targets without sitting in it. If I talk about the medical application, we are using a lot of medical applications. You can see this. There is a ECG machine, there is an X-ray machine, there is a glucometer and there is a thermometer. These machines produce better results than the older ones. This is the future application of the medical of embedded system. In this, they, we are manufacturing a t-shirt which can produce a lot of output. Like the person wearing the t-shirt, the all its physical data sent through a, through a satellite to a medical center. According to that, any medical assistance can be given to the person at it. If I talk about the robots, robots are basically used for the navigation purpose. So, a lot of robots we can design. In robots, we need intelligence so that robot can decide what to do and when to do. Let's see a look on the robotic design. This is a non microcontroller based analog line follower robot which is designed without any microcontroller or any processor. If I made it complex, then we can make a LCD based line follower robot. This is a CPLD based robot. This is an industrial robot. This is a snake robot. This is a facial expression robot. This is based on the complex neural networks. This is the robot buck. And this is one of the famous Honda's RC mode. So you can see that robots are working in the various fields. In both of navigation, both in the industrial and as a hobby. If I talk about the future applications, you can see that embedded system is used everywhere. And we can make today the prices more better. Like if I talk about the iPhone 5, it is far better than the iPhone previous versions. Let's see the future application. A completely automated automobile application means today we are using steers, starting, we are, have some semi manual, semi autonomous autobots. In future, we are deciding to make a completely autonomous automobile vehicle. This is the layout of that. Some far better gun and a lot more. So now you can understand what is embedded system. It is a combination of hardware and software to make some device intelligent. And in today's scenario, we need that each of our thing is intelligent. From a satellite, from our mobile phone to our toothbrush. If I talk about the currently and today's market share of the embedded system, then you can see this. Now you can understand that embedded system is very important to us. It has a very huge market share. Today you can see that the market is equipped with a lot of different different types of embedded equipment. So if you are going to work in embedded technology, then definitely you are going to a bright future. If I go further, then I find a theoretical definition which you have often read in the books that embedded systems are the microprocessor, microcontroller based programmable, reprogrammable computing control systems which are designed for a specific task or set of tasks. So the important thing is the specific task or set of tasks. We can handle any task with the help of embedded system. The microprocessor or microcontroller adds intelligence to that system and they are programmed. So, if we see the benefits of the embedded system. Earlier systems are heavy, bulk and not intelligent. If we think about today's system which are equipped with the embedded facility, 
then we see the following advantages like they are a small circuit they are much more reliable than the older ones they are power efficient you can see in the case of ac washing machine tv and a lot more the production is cost effective as if you have once make a embedded device then it is easy to reproduce it and the main thing is product customization which can be achieved by using the reprogramming so the second thing is the processor we have heard that a processor is an important part of the embedded system or of embedded device a processor is a device which processes the input and gives out the output this is the block diagram of processor and you can know of it if i talk about the types of processor then there are a lot of processors basically calculated in five different categories one is the microprocessor other is microcontroller third one is dsp processors digital signal processor third one is the asic application in specific integrated circuit the fourth one is the fpga field programmable gate array so in case of asic or fpga both of these processors work only with the high definition language with the hardware descriptive language with the help of hardware descriptive language we can program any asic or fpga circuit if i talk about the dsp processors these are very costly and used to process the very complex communication signal so in a today scenario we develop embedded products by using the microprocessor or microcontroller if i talk about a microprocessor it consists of a processor if i need to use this processor then i need to connect some memory some ports timers and a lot of accessories as you can see a motherboard a computer's motherboard in a computer's motherboard you use the processor external hard disk for the memory purpose bios for the eprom you use ram for the random data access and a lot more and other peripherals like network card audio card video card so if you want to make a embedded device using a macro processor then you have to connect a lot of peripherals if i talk about the macro processor controllers macro controllers are the more advanced than the macro processor macro controllers are simply integrated chips which contains the all ram rom input output ports on a single chip so in a short i can say that macro controllers are the system on chip soc this is the macro controller unit it contains cpu ram rom ports timer serial ports all if i talk about the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller i think you understand about that see microprocessor has no ram rom input output timers and nothing but the microcontroller all of these the first benefit i get in the microprocessor is that i can change the amount of ram rom and the amount the number of ports in with a processor design but in case of microcontroller since it is a integrated chip i can't change this so for a general purpose system microprocessors are more suitable but for a single task or a set of task purposes like embedded task we can get microcontrollers better than the macro if we are talking about the today scenario microcontrollers are used in the various fields a lot of controllers 8 bit 16 bit 32 bit 64 bit number controller are used in various fields you can see that in the root you can see the different types of microcontrollers and in the main tree you can see their applications from audio medical imaging video banking computers to a lot more if i talk about the companies producing the microcontrollers then we can see a list microchip Intel Macro, Atmel, Zilog, Motorola, and many more. You can see a detailed list of these companies, which are producing the different ports of microcontroller are as follows: Actel, Altera, LGM, Analog Devices, Applied Macro Circuits, Arc, Arm, Atmel, Cas, Cirrus Logic, Dela Semiconductor. Please see. All of these companies are producing a wide range of microcontrollers, which are used in different, different specific application 
So my dear friends, through this tutorial, I want to let you know that embedded system is a very growing field with a very bright future, and there are a lot of more things which can be upcoming in the next day. So I will meet you soon with my new tutorial about the practical implementation of embedded system. Thank you.